Wow! <laughs> That's the reaction. Wow. The one and only KRS-One reacting to this street mural of himself. Reacting to people walking by the art on 2nd Street near 1st Avenue on the Lower East Side. You know, I grew up on his music, so yeah, KRS-One, like he's a big part of my life. Who is KRS-One to you? Um, one of the hip-hop greats. Back in 73, in the barrel of Bronx. Lawrence Chris Parker was born in the Bronx. He came up in the 80s and today is known around the world. He says out of all his success, nothing compares to this. There is no award that is above this. The mural created in celebration of hip hop's 50th, the location here on the Lower East Side, meaningful to KRS-One. I grew up here. The hip hop artist reflecting on his early days. KRS-One came from this neighborhood and was less than every single person here. I was homeless. I might have slept right there. Putting the mural right there was a collaborative effort. As 2023 is recognized as hip hop's 50th anniversary, the roots tracing back to New York City in the 70s, KRS One considered a part of it all. It represents the culture to, to the fullest. The artist behind the mural is Italian. He was recently in New York City painting this and joining us from Naples for this interview, sharing the impact of KRS One as he sees it. KRS-One is aggressive, but he always looked to unite the aggressiveness and force of rap with positive messages, he said. What's the number one thing, if you had to tell me just one thing, that hip-hop taught you? I can do anything. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.